Hey guys, welcome back to my channel for another video and welcome if you are new. My name is Antonisha Lachey and I primarily make videos about planners, time management, and organization. I occasionally make videos about lifestyle and business as well. So if that is something that you're interested in, be sure to hit the subscribe button if you have not already and make sure you hit that bell so that you are notified whenever I post a new video. So today we are going to go ahead and jump in because you guys know I like to get chatty when I do planner flip throughs because today we are talking about my Franklin Covey compact my beloved Franklin Covey you guys know how much I love this planner this is still the unnamed planner I still have not figured out a name if you guys have suggestions for what I should name this planner because I don't know the actual name no one has been able to tell me what the name of this planner is it is an older Franklin Covey with I think we figured out it's a little bigger than one and a half inch rings um, the rings are quite big um but we still don't know what the name of it is i have seen one other video someone had a video of this planner um in this this tannish color but it was yellow she had a yellow one it was from like four years ago but i still don't know the name of this planner but anyways this is my everyday carry for my daily pages and my projects and stuff like that so we're just going to go ahead and flip through so this is what the inside looks like. It does not lay flat. Um, it does have two pen loops. I only use the one because this one is so far inside that when you close it, it would just sit up because it's inside the planner. I do have this A charm that I got from Erin Condren. I just have it sitting here because there's nothing else to really clip it onto. And then this pocket here is very tight, so I don't use it for much. I just have this, um, this some notes I took a long time ago about your guide to giving yourself a personal planning day um, by Aaron Odom from The Humbled Homemaker about giving yourself a personal planning retreat. I'm gonna rewrite this and put it in my planner. So that's why it's still there. And then I don't have anything in the zip pocket. So this planner, again, this is a Franklin Covey Compact. So a Franklin Covey Compact is wider than personal size. Um, it's a quarter inch wider than personal size, if I'm not mistaken. Is that right? I think so. And then, um, so this fits, matter of fact, this is the best way to show you. So this binder also fits personal wide as well. So let's, I'm gonna zoom in a whole lot, then I'll zoom back out just to show you something. Whoa, that's a bit much. Okay. So this plastic dashboard thingy here this is personal size let's take this out so you guys can see so this plastic dashboard here this is personal size this blooms sheet is franklin covey compact so yeah it's a quarter inch wider than personal size this divider is personal wide so you have personal franklin covey compact personal wide so you can see the difference between the three sizes. So I have all three sizes in here. And this is, like I said, very similar to the setup I had in here before. Most of the same components. The only difference is um, I took some of the extra unnecessary sections out. Um, I didn't fill out my personal information because I knew I was going to film this. Um, like I said, I took some of the extra unnecessary sections out and then I got new dated inserts. So I'm using the Franklin Covey Blooms Daily Inserts. These are my dividers that I had in here before when I last used this in August of last year. These are from Shelby, from Shelby Lico. I will link her Etsy shop below. She's the only person I use to make any of my dividers for any of my planners. Um, she is absolutely amazing. So, and all of my dividers that she made are top tab. So I have six of them. So I have inbox, goals, projects, list, calendar, and reference. And then these side tab dividers I made myself um, with some scrapbooking paper and some tabs. So my first section is my inbox. So I just have um, some post-its over here. I have another one of these personal size dashboards. This is from a recollections planner with more post-its. Um, I have a top loading, um, what do you call this thing? Little envelope with a target dollar spot pocket on both sides. I just use this, this is kind of like my capture section. So I will drop receipts in there, slips of paper, stuff like that that I need to process. Um, I keep random different sizes. I love having different size papers in here. So I keep random different papers just to capture notes. So that's all it is. It's just my capture section. And then I have some of 
um, some of my old Franklin Covey paper and then I have some of the Blooms paper in here as well. And then I have this don't forget section. So normally if I take a lot of notes on something and I, so this doesn't count, but if I take a lot of notes and then I want to just make sure I don't lose it and process it, I'll put it behind this don't forget section. I just don't have anything in here. I just have this do what you love um, journaling card that came with the paper pack that I use to make um, these little dividers. They're not laminated or anything. Then I have my goal section. I don't have, um, I just have some notes on my post-its that I want to keep um, three business goals and one personal goal to go with my Kanban, my Kanban board system. Um, so I don't have any goals in here because I'm actually still just setting this up. I do have the goal setting information in here from Franklin Covey. Um, so the roles and goals, this is a very, very old and I never redid it. So I just have that in here. Then my project section. Um, so I have some information. This is Managing Projects with GTD, The Five Phases of Project Planning by David Allen. So this was this has been in here from the last time. And then these are the project planner sheets from Peanuts Planner Co. So this is for my home office, which is what I'm in right now. Um, just a project planning of what other items I need to get. So I've just been crossing stuff off as I've been ordering stuff or buying it and then stuff that I have left to do. So I've already painted my file cabinet. I've hung my whiteboard and my cork board. I still need to do a gallery wall. I still need to paint my black desk. And then I still have some furniture and some decorative items I need to get. Um, my laundry room, I need to finish off some stuff for the laundry room, just more decorative stuff. And then launching my redefined productivity community. I've got a lot of stuff I need to do for that. Um, and then I just have this one is single sided because I have more notes and then I was using my mild liners. I was using this to time track, <clears throat> um, color coding, like if things would take 30 minutes to one hour, one hour to two hours, two to three hours. And if it's got red, that means that it's a bigger project and it needs to have its own project planning page. Like I need to add some branding and I need to finish a landing page for something. So I need to, that's its own separate project within launching this community. So. Um, that helps me when I'm looking at this, trying to see um, which of these tasks or items I can add to my to-do list. Um, I can kind of look at it based on how much time I have available to work on this or these things that need its own project page. I need to break them down into tasks. As you can see, I haven't done that yet. So I have a couple more project planner pages and then I have a notes um, journaling card here and then I have some of the trip planner pages. These are also from Peanuts Planner Co. Obviously not using this because we're not going on any trips right now but if you follow my channel you know we had quite a few trips planned for this year that we've had to cancel. We've canceled our cruise, um, we've canceled our Disney trip. Um, what else did we cancel? My women's retreat got canceled and my Scentsy family reunion which is our national convention is in July and it's still up in the air. I still have my flights and my hotel reservation but they haven't opened up registration yet. It's at the very end of July in Salt Lake City but the way things are looking right now I'm pretty sure it's probably going to get canceled as well so not using these trip planning sheets and then my one through four tabs is where I store my projects. And then I just have these ideas. This is another divider that I made. And this is where I just keep um, like a, a list of projects that I need to plan out. Um, so then I have my list section and then I have a list of lists to add. Um, I have a waiting for a list, which I'm not waiting for any of these anymore. I've already received my books and my Wayfair order was this rug that I have now. So not waiting on either of those anymore. Um, and then I just have a couple more checklists to add some of those lists I need to add. And then within my list section, I have this planning section. So this is where I have my planner routines. These are really, I laminated them. I need to update them. I'm gonna redo them. And then I have the better over perfect planning prompts. I absolutely love these for um, doing brain dumps and making sure I don't forget anything. And then I have the planner guide that comes with the Franklin Covey planner. I just have it sitting in here, even though I know all of this information, I just like having it. And then I have my calendar section. And I have the holidays and observances sheets. 
and then I have this routine tab. I have these monthly routine trackers from Dear Planner on Etsy and I love these. So I saw these, let me zoom in a little bit. I saw these, um, I think it was Lala, Lala planners and things. She had these and she recommended Deer Planner. And then I've been hearing about Deer Planner on quite a few YouTubers planner setups. They really, really love her printables. These are printed. She has a printable shop and a printed shop. So these were printed and shipped to me. Um, but she has a printable shop as well and I just got a brand new printer so these are undated. Um, I actually might be switching planner sizes soon so I'm kind of sad about that. I might washi these and punch it and put it in my new planner even though the sizes won't match. But these are really cool because you have your monthly, your it says monthly routine but you have your daily routines, your weekly routines, and your monthly tasks all on one spread for the entire month which is really cool and they're undated and you get a whole year's worth back to back so i'm thinking what i'm probably going to do is just because i'm actually about to go to disbound um i'm thinking about it i'm thinking about it not sure so i'm thinking i'm gonna just washi over this and re-punch it for my dismount um i might or what i might do is just save these in here and go to her printable shop because she has these in her printable shop as well and i might just print out buy some from the printable shop and print them out in the right size and punch them for dismount. So then also on my calendar section is um, my actual calendar. So again, this is the Bloom's Daily Planner. So this started in April, goes April 2020 through March 2021. Zoom out just a little. Um, so this is the monthly calendar that I have absolutely nothing on. We were planning on using the monthly calendar to track our budget, but our budget is completely up in the air and we're honestly not spending a whole lot except for groceries because we're not going anywhere or doing anything because of the current situation. Um, so there's nothing on here. And then I did not fill out the master task list. I haven't been doing a whole lot of like big picture planning. Um, really, it's just been day to day. So my daily pages have definitely been getting used. So on my daily pages, what I do is I do time block because we are homeschooling and everything. So let's zoom in a little so you guys can see. And I don't have any, so we'll focus on this. So what I do is I time block. Um, this would be a better one because this, he doesn't have school. So on Tuesdays and Thursdays, my nine-year-old has online classes with his, um, he has, he alternates math and ELA on Tuesdays and Thursdays, and then he has STEM on both days. So this is what a time block typically looks like. Um, this is what a typical day looks like for us. So I have my to-do list. And then I normally get up about five. Uh, I was up at, yeah, about five or 5.30. I was up at five this morning. So I do my morning routine and my planning in the morning. I used to do my planning at night if you guys have followed my channel long enough. But what I've realized with my health is that um, I don't know what I'm gonna feel like when I wake up in the morning. And so I, with me planning out um, my day at night, I would wake up the next morning and feel really bad. And so then my whole day would be a wash and then I would have to cancel out everything I had planned and my pages would be all jacked up and I didn't like it. So what I've started doing is I would just plan out my day first thing in the morning. So even when I was going to work, <clears throat> I would dedicate the first hour. So from eight to nine at work, um, I always ate my breakfast at work just because it was just too much of the hustle and bustle trying to get the kids ready and out the door in the morning. So I would take my breakfast. So between eight and nine, I would get to work, get settled, get my computers and everything set up, get coffee, get my breakfast, do my planning and all of that stuff. And then at nine o'clock, I would kind of start digging into my work and everything. I would also get like my devotional, my Bible reading. I would get all that done at work if I didn't get it done at home before I left. Um, I've just started getting up at five o'clock with the new medication that they have me on. Um, when I take it at 9 p.m., I'm out by like 9, 30, 10, and so my body naturally wakes up at five, which is a good thing. So I've kind of 
been forced into becoming a morning person but I've definitely embraced it so prior to that I wasn't getting up as early so sometimes I would be doing like my devotional and my morning bible reading at work which is fine because I have my own office and no one bothers me um but so I just do my planning now so now that's what I do when I get up at five in the morning um I will get up and do my morning routine I'll make coffee I'll do my bible reading and my devotional I'll do my planning in the morning and then we normally so I will mark off we have breakfast at 8 lunch at 12 um, the kids will have a snack and we'll try to go outside between 3 and 4 30 um, and then we have dinner at 6 so on Tuesdays and Thursdays CJ has his online class at 11 and then he has one at 4 which I hate that it's so late but that's when his STEM teacher does it and then around that I will I will budget when I do different work so I have my to-do list um, and then I just take just take notes throughout the day so time blocking has definitely been oh sorry about that time blocking has definitely been my friend with having to homeschool the kids I take a lot of notes throughout the day yesterday um, Alan wasn't feeling well Ethan is teething so he was running a fever so I was taking a lot of notes and monitoring them and making sure it wasn't anything more serious both of them are feeling 150 percent better today so that well that was two days ago so yesterday and today they were feeling better so and then I'm also working from home so I will mark like when I'm doing my nine to five work versus when I'm filming versus when I'm doing like my side hustle work um, when the boys go down for nap and rest time which is normally when I can film because as of right now we still haven't put a door on my office so either I have to film when the boys are down for their nap or when I get up which is what I did this morning I got up at five o'clock this morning um, and instead of doing like my planning I just got up and I came and filmed while they were sleeping and then I'll go do my planning and stuff while they're up because today's Sunday so don't have too much planning to do so this was yesterday had a whole lot of to do's and didn't get a whole lot. well we got some done we were actually outside finishing up our yard so we finished the yard we seeded it yesterday and laid down um, the straw on top of it and watered it so we were out in the yard all day so a lot of this stuff did not get done all of the filming that I planned on doing yesterday didn't get done where did that oh I'm trying to figure out where this came from I don't know but yeah all the filming that I planned on getting done yesterday didn't get done because we were outside in the yard so that's all the filming that I did this morning and that's why today I don't have anything planned because I haven't done my planning because I've been filming all morning. So this is the last video that I have to film and then I will get around to doing my planning and all of that other stuff. So after, so I have all of my daily pages in for April and then I have all of my months in all the way through December. Um, I knew I wouldn't be using this in 2021. Um, I don't think I'm going to be using this past April to be honest. I'm actually getting ready to start printing out some inserts. Um, so I think I'm going to be selling the rest of these Franklin Covey inserts. So May through March of 2021. So if you are interested in the Franklin Covey Blooms inserts, this is compact size. Let me know in the comment section. I will be listing them on my Instagram if no one doesn't let me know in the comment section of this video. So I will have these and then also um my plum paper hourly if you guys watched that video when i flipped through it my plum paper hourly inserts that i have punched they are seven by nine inserts punch for disbound um those will also be posted for sale um because i'm not going to be using those anymore those are also those are from may same thing may through march may 2020 through march of 2021 those are going to be posted for sale so if you are interested in purchasing any of those inserts us only please um because i don't want to try shipping anything internationally right now i don't even think they're allowing us to ship a lot of things internationally but um let me know if you're interested in purchasing them if not i will post them on my instagram and sell them because i am going to be switching my systems um last section i have in here is my reference section and i really don't have much back here i just have note paper because i'm not using the reference section so it's nothing but a bunch of note paper back there so that is all that I have in here. Like I said, I really wanted to do this flip through. I'm going to probably continue using this. I don't know if I'm going to make it all the way through April. Um, 
before I switch out my system. I'm kind of taking my time and setting up my new system. So I'm just going to use this until I have my new system fully set up the way I want it. I'm not rushing into it because I'm using um, all printables. So it's not like I'm waiting on anybody to ship anything to me. I'm printing everything out. So I'm taking my slow time um, because it's not like I'm in a rush. And I will tell you guys about what I'm using once I get it set up and I flip through it. So in the meantime, if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them below. If you guys are interested in purchasing the rest of these Franklin Covey daily inserts or my plum paper uh, hourly inserts, let me know in the comment section. Give this video a thumbs up. If you're interested in seeing more planner videos in the month of April and subscribe to the channel if you have not already. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.